Welcome, Fountain. It's really nice to see you. It's been a little while, but Pastor Tuppy and I are both here. We just want to welcome you all and our visitors. It's so nice to have you all. And um, we just want to share where, some updates with Fountain and what's been happening. Uh, Pastor Tuppy, what's the current situation at the moment with like COVID-19? Look, we have been hopeful just um, as we were looking at those um, uh, curves flattening and thinking that we are coming out of it and we hopefully thinking that we were going to come back to church again but uh, our places of worship that are in the both universities UTS and uh, University of New South Wales are still closed and there is no way we can come back together um, and especially now that we see uh, a few places that are beginning to you know those red zones are coming up again and um, we, we don't know what the future holds really, uh, which makes us sort of think that we are going to be doing this kind of thing for a bit more. But let's look on, a, on onto the brighter side. What have we done? Where have we been? Some exciting things that we've done here uh, at our, in, our, in our church. Yeah, no, it's true. We've done some really exciting things. And I think Fountain has adapted really well. Mm-hmm. Um, just more recently, we've had a great series by the youth, Heroes. Ordinary people, ordinary extraordinary people. Yeah. God, yeah. and just a real blessing. And also, too, previous to that, we had a great series, apologetic series, Why Am I a Christian? Mm. And uh, we had some great scientists yeah, and some theologians minds. and yeah. great minds. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah good discussions. Um, and also, too, we've had some great uh, other programs as well, outside of the Sabbath hours. Um, closing Sabbath, Happy at Home. Mm. Uh, also... Healthy at home. Yeah, that one. It's a bit of a workout that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sore muscles afterwards. And then, um, what's the other one? Hungry at home. Hungry at home. Hungry at home. Cooking. I, yeah. I made this beautiful, I couldn't believe it, they told me how to make a beautiful satay, and I love satay. Wow. wow so that's beautiful. you must join in when you hear about hungry at home. Well, definitely um, be joining in next time. <laughs> and also, too, on top of that, we've had um, our prayer meeting Wednesday night, which has been a real blessing mm. uh, the power of prayer. Right. And also our care groups. Um, if you haven't heard about that, um, please check out our website, our Facebook, and, and tune in. It's a great blessing as well. And um, Pastor Huffy, what's coming up in, in the next coming weeks and so we, we are very excited. The leadership team has been in the kitchen cooking um, the some programs that, that are upcoming. Just following to these table talks that we've been having, we'll continue with the table talks, mm-hmm. but this time we're going to be talking about real stories of how people have journeyed transition from one place, spiritually speaking, to another, how some people have become yeah. Christians. Actually, it's going to be called becoming a Christian. Yeah. How people have become Christians, so real stories of real people. And then we transition from there, and um, in the month of August, we're going to be sharing the vision uh, from a biblical standpoint, we're going to be sharing a vision as pastors. Both you and I are going to be sharing uh, with our church family and our friends that are fountain in the city. Where are we going? What's the fu- what does the future look like? What does God want us to do? So that's what we're going to be sharing with throughout the month of, uh, of August. And to keep it all, at the end of August, we're going to have Holy Communion. And it's going to be different. How are we going to do that? It's going to be different this time, Pastor Tim. <laughs> different. Uh, we cannot come together, so we're not going to be grouping in. So we're going to be doing it in homes. And uh, a few homes are going to invite, you know, people that are close by to just come in. Like it was done in the Passover days, you know. Uh, right. Families would invite people and they would do them together. So, which was really, really, really good. But Pastor Tim, how are we going to be doing this with this watch now that we can we can meet? Yeah, that's true. Because we can't meet back physically yet. We're still going to continue online. So we're still going to be looking at um, our yeah website and also Facebook um, and YouTube. These are the ways that we're sharing our worship service. But we really want to encourage you to get together in your homes to worship in the. Um, yeah, in the amount that you can have in your home. Uh, we know things are changing all the time, so you've sure. got to keep a watch of that as well. Mm-hmm. But uh, we just really want to encourage you to get together and spend time together, pray together, and uh, look out for each other as well. We're a phone call away as well. Yeah, um, anytime. But Pastor Tuppy, is there something you'd like to share for reassurance for the church? Look, um, I've just been thinking about this, you know. Sometimes we get worried, especially when it's time like this, we get anxious. But there's a powerful promise in the Bible that is found in Philippians chapter 4 and the verses 6 and 7. It actually starts with, depending on the version that you're reading, it actually starts with, do not worry or do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And 
that peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Ah, thank you, Pastor Tuppy. That's a beautiful verse and um, very encouraging for us all. And just on that note, we just want to continue just to encourage you to yeah, keep connected with God, keep mm. connected in our worship service. Don't stay online. away. Don't stay yeah, away. Don't stay just away. Keep Be connected. Connected. Look out for each other. And as well, Pastor Tuppy and I are here when it's the phone call away. And um, we just want to encourage you too to get into small groups when you can, um, to worship on Sabbath, Friday nights, during the week if you've got time. And um, yeah, we're thinking of you all. Stay safe and God bless you all. And we'll see you soon. God bless. Bye.